you guys, this is Maria, and today we're going to make some chocolate candy just in time for Valentine's Day. It's super simple to make, so let's get started. This is what you're going to need. You're going to need some nuts. Um, I've chosen pecans and walnuts, and you're also going to need some dried fruit. And I've chosen the cranberries and some dried apricots. You're going to need some Wilton's chocolate, the candy melt chocolates that you can pick up at Joann's or at Michael's. I've chosen light cocoa, white chocolate, and dark cocoa. Although you can choose any kinds of chocolate that you like. And so let's see, you're also going to need something uh, like a plate so you can put the candy on top of those when you make them. Or you can use a cookie sheet. You're going to need a mixing bowl that's microwavable and I've chosen to use a wooden spoon. You're going to need something to stir. And you're going to need some wax paper and some baking cups. I went ahead and picked these up. They're the Wilton, and I got these at Joann's. They're really cute. And so, but this is optional. You don't need this unless you want to do something like what I'm going to do. I found this candy container at the swap meet, and I washed it out really good. And I thought it would be really cute to try to fill this up. And you're also going to need a microwave, and you're going to need to make some room in your refrigerator to set the candy in until it hardens. And you're also going to need like a teaspoon so you can put the candy clusters on the plate over here. Okay, so let's get started. The first thing you're going to do is you're just going to open your candy melts. I just use the scissors to pull that apart. And then you're just going to pour these into your microwavable bowl. These are, I'm just using the microwavable bowls that I found at the grocery store during the holidays. And so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in the microwave for one and a half minutes, okay? Um, I, the first time I did this, I went ahead and followed the instructions on the bag, but I didn't really care for the way it was melting. So one and a half minutes works perfectly. So let me go ahead and do that. I already have the microwave set and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back and you can see it's sort of melted and then you just start stirring and see how quickly it melts. And if it starts to harden on you when you're making your candies, you can just put it right back in the microwave like for 30 seconds or something until it melts again. See that? It's just melting really, really nice. Okay, so I think I'm going to go ahead and put some walnuts in this one. And I don't really have the exact measurement, and so we're just going to go ahead and put a handful at a time and see how many we can get. Okay, so I've got my walnuts, and I'm just going to stir some in, just like that. Okay, I could probably use some more. These look really good already. <laughs> I had sworn off a of chocolate uh, right after Christmas, but you know what? A few weeks have passed, and... I've been doing really well, so I thought, well, I think I'll just go ahead and make these right now. Still um, about a month away from Valentine's Day, but I thought I'd get an early start. Okay, so let's see. I don't know if I need any more. I think that's good right there. So I just actually put, like what, like two or three handfuls in there. And so let me go ahead and start putting them on the plate. Okay. And so you're just going to drop them on the plate or your cookie sheet, whatever you're using. I kind of feel like Lucy and Ethel in that candy episode, you know, where they're working at the candy factory. And so it looks a little runny when you're putting it on here, but don't worry, it will harden up really quick in the fridge. I think I'm going to go ahead and just put these in the fridge and then I'll finish these up and I'll be right back and do the next batch. Okay, and so here's the white chocolate. I just went ahead and melted it. And so if it's got like a little bit of lump still left from the candy, you can always put it right back in the microwave for about maybe about 10 or 15 more seconds. And also, um, I guess every microwave varies, you know, in temperature. And so you might want to put in like 30 seconds at a time or or whatever you feel works best for you. So it's really nice and smooth now. So with the white chocolate, I thought I'd go ahead and put the cranberries in. Also, I saved a little bit of the white chocolate in the package because I think I'd like to drizzle some of the white chocolate on the chocolate candies later. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some of these cranberries in. I love cranberries, 
so good. And so they look pretty. Really like this. And like I said, you can use any kind of dried fruit that you want. You can use blueberries or mango. I have bought the mango spears before, the dried mango spears, and they're so good. Okay, so let's go ahead. Gosh, my mouth is watering, you guys. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go ahead and put these on the plate and put these in the fridge. I just want to show you real quick. You just put them in the fridge. So just make sure you have a flat space where you could put your cookie sheet or your plate. See, they're already hardening here, and so they're looking really good. Okay, and here's the dark chocolate. I noticed that the dark chocolate and the light cocoa uh, melted uh, like a lot quicker than the white one. The white one still had a few little lumps of the candy in there. And so, anyways, that's my dog, Sally. <laughs> and so, anyways, so what I wanted to do first, before I put the pecans in this, I'm just going to take a few of the dried apricots, and I'm just going to dip them like halfway, just like that. And then I'm going to go ahead and lay them on this smaller plate. And she wants her chair. I moved her chair over. That's usually by the window. And so that's what she wants. Just a minute, Sally. I'll be done in a little bit. And so anyways, you get the idea, and they're so good. And dried apricots are really good for you too. And they're tangy and sweet. And then with that little bit of chocolate on there, it just gives them that extra bit of good flavor. A little sweetness there. And so I'm just gonna make a few of these. And I had saved a little bit of the dark chocolate too so I could drizzle on some of the uh, white chocolate. And like I said, if it starts to harden up on you, just put it right back in the microwave for a few seconds. Okay? And so these are looking really, really good, you guys. Let me know if you like them. And so, we're almost done here. See how easy this is? I can hardly wait to put them in the little Valentine box. Okay, and you can also find little containers to put candy in like at your dollar store or probably even Walmart or Target, maybe in the dollar bins. Okay, wow, these look so good, you guys. I'm going to like be in trouble here. I was doing so good. But I'll just tell myself these are healthy because they have nuts are good for you and fruit is good for you. I haven't tried chocolate covered broccoli yet but hey I may like it <laughs> okay so those look really really good I really like the way those turn out so the chocolate is still soft because we did that pretty quickly and so let me go ahead and just toss some of these pecans in I love pecans okay and again you're just gonna stir them up and I'm going to go ahead and put them on the plate, and I'll be right back. Okay, so the white candies have already hardened in the fridge, and so I went ahead and melted the rest of the chocolate in the microwave, and I'm just going to go ahead and drizzle some of this over this, just to make it look a little pretty. So you just sort of drizzle it, kind of like that, back and forth, and that looks kind of pretty. Okay, so I just discovered an easier way of doing this, and some of you probably already know. You're probably wondering, what is she doing? So I just started doing this, going back and forth, and see, isn't that easier? Okay, so I've melted the white chocolate, and I'm going to go ahead and drizzle some of this on top of these dark chocolate candies. I mean, these didn't take long at all to harden up, to start hardening, like 10 minutes. And so let me go ahead and put some of that back in and just like with the other one see just go back and forth you can make a little bit of a mess but not that much it cleans up really easy so oops those were a little too thick but that's okay that's okay you won't get any complaints when it comes to chocolate okay so we're all done and I want to show you how easy these are to break apart so you can see what they look like on the inside 
And so this one has the walnuts. It's the milk chocolate. So anyways, I've already tasted quite a few and they're really, really good. Okay, so let me show you what it looks like inside. I went ahead and put the candies in these little paper cups that I found at Joann's and I really like the way it turned out. So I'm going to lift the lid and I have a piece of wax paper that I put between the candy and the lid so the candy doesn't actually touch the metal on the underside of the lid. And then what I did was I just turned this over and I went ahead and traced the heart out on a sheet of wax paper. So I used this as a template and then I just cut it out with a regular pair of scissors. And so there it is. Yay! I think it looks so pretty. Oh my gosh. I think I got, I think I counted something like 48 pieces of candy in this bag and I'm going to go ahead and send it with my husband to the shop tomorrow for the guys at work and so <laughs> this way I don't have to worry about eating all of this and I'll probably go ahead and give this to somebody. I really really love it. So thanks for watching you guys and happy Valentine's Day. Bye bye.